Okay, you lovely people, now for a beautiful comfort food dish, which is undeniably sumptuous and gorgeous, and it is the classic British dish, which is cauliflower cheese. But I'm going to show you that frozen veg in a dish like this is just as delicious as fresh, only a lot cheaper. Now, on my left is my lovely Greek sister, Georgie. She's going to be cooking a fresh version of this beautiful gratin, OK? I'm going to do the frozen. We're going to have a little taste up at the end. So you're cool with that? Yeah, definitely. Lovely. So let's start with the recipe. First in a pan, two knobs of butter. Just get it in that pan on a medium heat, OK? So this is based around the classic French uh, cream sauce, bechamel sauce. For extra flavour, add a bay leaf and two finely sliced cloves of garlic. Thicken the sauce with two tablespoons of flour. And then all I'm going to do is add about 500 mils of milk, bit by bit. You can use a wooden spoon or a whisk. I'm using 500 grams of frozen broccoli. Let that simmer for 20 minutes until the broccoli is cooked right through. Then give it a good whiz up to create a delicious creamy broccoli sauce. Get yourself your frozen cauliflower. Throw it in. There's a kilo there. That's the equivalent of two heads of cauliflower. Then pour the broccoli sauce over the frozen florets of cauliflower. Fantastic. Can't have cauliflower cheese without cheese. Cheddar's great for this. Uh, I'm using about 70 grams. That much bread is going to transform that cauliflower cheese from epic to, like, super epic, OK? Chuck it in a blender with some rosemary or thyme and a tablespoon of olive oil and blitz. Uh, I'm going to go in with a tablespoon of flaked almonds. It goes really, really well with roasted cauliflower. Just a few seconds, just to break it up. Then scatter over this delicious veggie feast. So, ladies and gents, we have an amazing broccoli and cauliflower cheese with crispy bits. Bake for one hour or until golden and cook through. We know that frozen's a lot cheaper, but what I want to prove is that it can be just as tasty as fresh. I think it's time to have a little bit of a taste up. Here's Georgie's one. In a nutshell, blooming gorgeous. Now for the version made with frozen veg for nearly half the price. Mmm. Mmm. You lose nothing by using frozen, do you not think? No, it's mm. absolutely delicious. There you have it, the best cauliflower and broccoli cheese, all thanks to your freezer.